Imagine what would have happened if the battle between Godzilla and Kong had unfolded differently, or as they joined forces to fight Scar King, one of them betrayed the other. That would be breathtaking. There are a lot more scenarios that could have made this new movie end better than what we saw at the cinemas, and we have gathered a couple for you. So join us as we dive deep into the heart of uncharted territory, presenting alternate endings that would leave your mouth wide open. How did the movie actually end? In the thrilling end, the iconic titans Godzilla and Kong clash in an epic showdown. Initially, their battle unfolds near the majestic pyramids, each beast vying for dominion over the land. However, their rivalry takes a backseat when they encounter a formidable adversary, the dreaded Scar King. Despite their mutual disdain, Godzilla and Kong forge an uneasy alliance to tackle this more significant threat, aiming to avert the planet's destruction. Amidst the chaos, the arrival of Mothra marks a turning point. Summoned by Gia, a young girl with a unique ability to converse with these incredible beings, Mothra lends her formidable skills to Kong and Godzilla's cause, bolstering them with her presence and unwavering spirit, giving the team much needed hope. The evil intentions of the Scar King come to light as the battle rages on. He plans to plunge the world into a new ice age, wielding the power of a giant ice beast, Shimo, and a mystical crystal to bend the elements to his will. His ultimate goal is nothing short of global domination, subjecting humanity to endless despair. That's what Godzilla and Kong must stop. United in purpose, they devise a daring strategy to thwart the Scar King's evil plot. Through courage, unity, and a dash of heroic resolve, they engage in a decisive confrontation against the Scar King. Mothra's support and the combined might of Godzilla and Kong help them secure the victory. In the aftermath, Godzilla and Kong part ways in terms of newfound respect, having stood shoulder to shoulder against a common foe. Godzilla resumes his vigilant guardianship of the surface, while Kong retreats to the sanctuary of Hollow Earth, surrounded by allies. Now that's just another boring way to end things. What could have been done differently, you'd ask? Well, imagine a different ending. An ending of endings where Mechagodzilla 2.0 shows up. Crazy scenes. In this alternate reality, the final clash between Godzilla and Kong stirs a sleeping giant, Mechagodzilla 2.0. A familiar enemy? But wait, this isn't the Mechagodzilla we remember. It's been upgraded, armed to the teeth, and powered by an AI holding a grudge against both our natural titans. The stage is set not just for a battle, but for a war that pits raw, primal power against the cold precision of technology. As the new Mechagodzilla wreaks havoc, it becomes clear that brute strength alone won't save the day. Godzilla's might and Kong's cunning are formidable, but facing an opponent that learns and adapts in real time requires them to evolve. Now that presents a real challenge. In a heart-stopping climax, our heroes find a way to fight and outsmart their mechanical foe. They lure Mechagodzilla into the heart of a powerful electrical storm, supercharging Godzilla's atomic breath and Kong's agility to new heights. In a breathtaking display of teamwork, they exploit the AI's over-reliance on logic, using unpredictable tactics to confuse and disable it. In the end, nature and technology clash in a spectacular explosion of energy, leaving Mechagodzilla in ruins. Victory secured. Now, that's an ending we should have seen, but that's not all, because we've got more for you, like an ending where we witness the arrival of Mothra. When Godzilla and Kong are on the brink of a cataclysmic clash, the skies part with a glow, heralding the arrival of Mothra. This majestic guardian descends upon the chaos with a grace that commands attention. Bet she'd grip yours too. Mothra, known for her wisdom and serenity, doesn't come to fight but to remind these titans of their true purpose. Godzilla and Kong, caught in the heat of their fury, pause, and it's as if Mothra's presence rekindles a forgotten truth within them. They aren't enemies but guardians of the natural order. In this unexpected turn, the colossal beasts find common ground. Mothra's intervention reawakens their innate duty to protect, not destroy.
The scene shifts from one of impending doom to a powerful testament to unity. With Mothra leading, they turn their might towards a more significant threat looming in the shadows, enemies yet unknown, showcasing the Alliance's strength. This alternate ending is a vibrant reminder that even the fiercest of rivals can find peace and purpose in cooperation, ensuring the balance of the natural world prevails. And speaking about the natural world, nothing's more natural than the humans themselves. That's why the next ending explored the theme of humanity. You'd be thrilled. The Human Connection In the heart of Godzilla Kong, the new empire, amidst the thundering clash of titans, an unlikely glimmer of hope emerges through the courage and ingenuity of humans. Armed with a groundbreaking invention, a dedicated team from the monarch organization steps into the front. Their device? A technology capable of replicating titan calls. A bold experiment in bridging worlds apart. As the battle between Godzilla and Kong shakes the very foundations of the earth, these humans take a daring leap of faith. They broadcast a powerful call, a message from the roars and cries of titans. This isn't just noise, it's a plea, a warning of a greater danger that threatens them all, titan and human alike. Remarkably, amidst the fury and fire, Godzilla and Kong pause. The message accomplishes its purpose, understanding dawns in their ancient eyes. Here lies a common ground, a shared fight for survival. Godzilla and Kong, once locked in an endless cycle of dominance and defiance, stand side by side, united by a newfound respect. This alternate ending isn't just a ceasefire, it's a hopeful glimpse into a future where humans and titans coexist, guardians of the world they share. Well, get set. The next alternate finale will definitely shatter your expectations. The Hollow Earth Kingdom as the earth-shattering battle between Godzilla and Kong rages on, a dramatic twist pulls them into the depths of the Hollow Earth. Here, amidst the ruins that speak so loudly of Kong's noble lineage, their conflict reaches a fever pitch. But the Hollow Earth is more than a battleground. It's a realm of forgotten lore and untold power, holding secrets even these titans can't imagine. What will they discover here? In the heart of this ancient world, their ferocious duel awakens something mighty that has slumbered in the shadows of history. It's an ancient titan, a majestic being whose presence commands silence, a creature born from the very essence of the hollow earth. Not affected by time, this great titan rises as the true monarch of this hidden kingdom. With a power that dwarfs even Godzilla's might and Kong's courage, it causes their battle to stop with just a roar. Faced with this ancient guardian, Godzilla and Kong bow in reverence, recognizing the hollow earth's sovereignty. This moment of submission isn't about defeat. It's about acknowledging a legacy far more significant than their own. In this captivating end that we could have seen, the Hollow Earth's mysteries unfurl, revealing a world where the lines between myth and reality blur. It's a reminder that beneath our feet lies a kingdom of timeless and grand secrets. Speaking about time, we could see an ending exploring that theme. An ending with a time warp twist. Godzilla and Kong's earth-shattering duel propels them into the uncharted territories of the Hollow Earth. They stumble upon an anomaly unlike any other, a swirling vortex that whispers ancient secrets and forgotten times. In a heart-stopping moment, the fierce adversaries are swept into this time warp, hurling them back to an age where the world was a wild, untamed one, ruled by titans of legend. Stranded in this bygone era, the iconic duo finds themselves in an unfamiliar world, a primordial earth. Godzilla and Kong are no longer rivals in this land of giants. They are outsiders thrust together by fate. Navigating this ancient world demands more from them than brute strength. As they encounter titans of old, some majestic, others evil, Godzilla and Kong begin to forge an uneasy alliance. An alliance we say, it's more. This newfound friendship is born out of necessity as they confront challenges that test their limits and reveal strengths they never knew they had. This unexpected journey through time doesn't just reshape the bond between Godzilla and Kong. It sets the stage for an epic sequel. 
definitely can't wait. As they delve deeper into the mysteries of this ancient Earth, the stage is set for a thrilling exploration of time travel and the origins of the Titans, promising adventures that will unravel the very fabric of their existence. If you've enjoyed this stroll down alternate reality lane, why not stick around for more? And this next one's mind-boggling. The Rebirth of Skull Island Remember what marked the end of Skull Island in the previous movies? In this alternate ending, the titanic tussle between Godzilla and Kong triggers a seismic miracle. The earthquakes and ocean water rumble as, from the depths, Skull Island re-emerges, reborn with vibrant life. This once lost land rises as if drawn forth by the clash of these giants. As the island ascends, its life and untamed ecosystems unfold like a phoenix rising. In the face of this awe-inspiring revival, Godzilla and Kong's fierce battle dwindles. Skull Island's resurgence offers them an unspoken truce a shared sanctuary where their age-old feud can rest. Here, on this neutral ground, they find an unlikely refuge where even titans can lay down their arms. The film closes on a hopeful note, with Skull Island thriving as a sanctuary for titans. It stands as a testament to nature's resilience, a symbol of hope in a world where humans and titans, destruction and rebirth can coexist. And oh, we did see Godzilla and Kong come to coexist and confront one foe together. But what would it have been like if we had seen something of an alliance and betrayal? The epic showdown between these two titans is suddenly interrupted, just as the show reaches its climax. From the dark bowels of the hollow earth, a new terror arises, more formidable than anything they faced before. This unexpected enemy forces Godzilla and Kong to reassess their battle. Survival now depends on an alliance, a concept as foreign to them as peace. You can imagine. Together, they craft a battle plan, a testament to the potential of their combined might. As the decisive moment nears, the air crackles with the energy of their impending attack, a meaningful fusion of fire and fury with the singular mission to strike down their common foe. Yet, as victory looms within reach, the unthinkable unfolds. Godzilla turns on Kong in a heart-wrenching twist, unleashing a devastating blow. Now, now, no one, absolutely no one sees that coming. This betrayal, cutting more profound than any physical wound, leaves Kong reeling, a titan not just defeated, but broken. The film leaves us in a whirlwind of emotion, questioning the very nature of trust and allegiance. As Kong stands amidst the ruins, the echoes of this treachery hint at deeper conflicts and stories yet untold, leaving us pondering the actual cost of power and the unpredictable nature of alliances in a world of titans. Well, that's fertile ground for future Godzilla Kong epics, and we can't wait for what comes next. So which of these alternate endings do you love the most? Let us know your thoughts in the comment sections below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting content.